Hi everyone and uh, welcome back to the series of practice problems about electromechanical energy conversion and this is our third question about synchronous generator. So let's read the question. This is a 2000 kVA. 2000 kVA, this is the rated value of the generator. This is the maximum power or S can be delivered by the generator to the load. 11 kilovolt line to line, we always giving the line to line voltage at the terminal, which is this one. The voltage line to line is 11 kilo kilovolt. So this is your terminal voltage. Y connection, as you can see it here. And we are given here that point 0.3 is your RA. So your R is point 0.3. So this is point 0.3 ohm. And your XS is actually is 5 ohm. So we are given XS and RA. The generator is actually connected to a load with certain impedance, which is 30 plus J40. So we are not given how much power is delivered, but we are given the impedance of the load, which will help us later on to find IA. We want to find the internal generated voltage, and we want to find the power angle and the power delivered to the to the load. Okay, so how to proceed with this question? Start by drawing the circuit model of the generator connected to the load. So my generator model is, as we know it, is basically RA, which is 0.3 ohm, and XS, which is J5, and EA is the unknown, and we have here IA. Now, this is the voltage at the terminal, which is here, it's V phase. So it's the phase voltage of the terminal voltage. And we have the load connected to it. The load basically is an uh, inductive load, which is equal to 30 plus J40. So this is the everything in a single phase model. As we know, since we work in balance system, we, if the, information given to us as a circuit like this question so it's better to draw it as one single phase circuit uh, diagram okay so how to find ea your ea is basically your v phase plus ia times the 0.3 plus j5 this is your your e ea Okay, so I need to find V phase and I want to find IA. What is V phase? It's basically the terminal voltage of the phase. So it is the terminal voltage, the line to line, which is the 11 kilovolt, divided by root 3. And this is always my terminal voltage is my reference, so the angle is equal to 0. So this will give me a total voltage of 6.35 kilovolt, angle of 0. This is your V phase. No, I want to find IA. How to find IA? Now, IA, I know the load impedance. I know the voltage across the load impedance, so we can find IA. So basically, it's the phase voltage, the 11 kilovolt, divided by root 3 angle of 0, divided by the impedance, which is 30 plus J40. Now, this is kilovolt, so this is 11,000. So this will give me a current equal to 127 amps angle of minus 53.13 amps so i know ia i know v phase from this i can find my ea which is basically equal to 6.35 times 10 to power 3 angle of 0 plus your ia 127 angle of minus 53.13 times 0.3 plus j5 and when you do the multiplications, this is equal to 6890 volt angle of 2.91. So this is your EA for the phase. If I want to find EA for the line to line, multiply this by root by root 3. Okay, what is the power angle? Or sometimes called the torque angle. It's actually the angle between EA and V phase. So it's already given here, which is the 2.1991. Finally, what is the power that is delivered to the load? How much P I am delivering? So power, the 
general formula equal to 3, V phase IA cosine theta, cosine the angle of V phase and IA, which is equal to 3. The V phase is the 6.35 times 10 to power 3. The current is the 127. The angle cosine of the angle of theta v, v phase is equal to zero minus the angle of IA. I already found it, which is minus 53.13. And this will give me 1451.9 kilowatt. So this is how much power I can get from, from my generator, 1451. Now the power factor, of this that's not required in the question is equal to cosine zero minus minus 53.13 which is equal to 0.6 this is the power factor so at this power factor the p rated of the generator is equal to the 2000 kva times the 0.6 which is equal to 1200 kilowatt so this is at this power factor this is how much the maximum power i can deliver to the load but for that specific load i am delivering 1451.9 so i'm delivering more than what i am supposed to deliver which will cause an overloading and a problem to the generator. So this is, although it's not was not asked in the question, but this is as an engineer, you have to know all the time. Am I delivering more or equal or less my rated value so that I can take care of my generator? Because if I overload my generator, this can cause many, many problems that we should not deal, deal with, especially with the, with the generator.